this goes back to the, um, after you've had your ritual bath last step. What you're going to want to do, find, basically, rose oil, rose oil is sacred to me, rose oil is very feminine. What you're going to do is you're going to, in a sense, dedicate yourself and anoint yourself. And not a lot of people know how to do this or really fully understand how to do this. After you've gotten out of the tub, you're going to anoint your body, uh, what's usually called the fivefold fifth. Um, or I've actually seen where they've actually put the um, triangle over the body, starting starting with the pubic area and working your way up. So what you're going to do after you've taken your ritual bath and you want to you know dedicate yourself and bless yourself, you'd actually anoint your hand, touch your left foot, touch your right foot, and basically say, um, "Blessed be my feet that walk the sacred path." Then you would go from your left knee to your right knee, and you would say, Blessed be my knees that kneel at the sacred altar or kneel in the sacred temple. Then you would touch right above your pubic bone and say, Blessed be the, blessed be the womb that creates life. For the male aspect, you could say, Blessed be the phallic symbol that delivers the seed of life. Your heart, you could actually say, blessed be thy heart that gives love and receives love freely. You could go to your lips and say, blessed be are my lips that speak the truth of the Lord and Lady. Then you go to your ears, blessed be are my ears that I may that I may hear the words of the God and Goddess or the ancient ones or whatever you feel feel worthy to say. Your third eye. Would be blessed be my third eye that I may see my inner truth or see inner truth. Then you would go to the crown chakra and say, Bless, blessed be, blessed be my crown that I may receive love and light and wisdom from the universe. So in a sense, you kind of created, you've actually blessed your entire body um, in a ritual that it's kind of like a self dedication. That you're, that this is what I'm doing to help, you know, open up all the channels of communication for the spirit realms and whatever, and, and blessing you as well. So, um, the other one that you could do, I actually do this occasionally, is, um, a chakra blessing. And that is you, after you get out of the bath, or usually in, I actually do it when I'm in the bath, you actually bring yourself to a center, to, to where you're at right now. Nothing else outside your bubble matters. It's all about what's right here, right now. And I put my hand over my root chakra, and I say something like, um, blessed be my root chakra that keeps me firmly planted within Mother Earth. I go to my, uh, my reproductive center, and I say, blessed be my... Uh, navel chakra that it brings life into the world and helps you create life. Then you go to your solar plexus and say something like, blessed be my solar plexus that it, that it stores the seed of my soul. You go up to your heart, blessed be my heart that I'm able to receive love and give love. You go to your throat, which is right here, and you could say, blessed be my throat chakra that I am able to speak my inner truth. And you go to your your brow chakra or your third eye, and the whole blessing the inner inner part of yourself, and then go on to your crown. Um, either way, whatever feels comfortable to you, you can do that. And as I'm touching the chakra zone, I'm actually um, all of our chakras are the color of the rainbow. We all seven chakras reflect all seven colors of the rainbow. So you've got um, red, orange, yellow. You've got green, you've got blue, you've got purple, and you've got white. And so each time I touch, I see a bubble go around me and lock me into the red zone. I go to the orange. I see the orange go around me and lock me into the orange zone. I go into the uh, yellow, and I see the yellow go around me and lock me into a yellow bubble. And I actually see myself expanding and healing any of the areas on my body that are all messed up. So, uh, holy cow, I've talked so much, my throat's starting to hurt. Um, <laughs> so if anybody has any questions, if anybody wants to know anything else, um, I'm here. 
I had fun doing this and thank you for letting me share my information with everybody. Um, lots of love and blessings to each and every one of you. And I want to say thank you for all the lovely comments that I've received on my new channel. And hopefully if everything works out, I'm going to continue showing everybody rituals and actually sharing information about spellcraft. So thank you very much. Take care and blessed be. Bye.